Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm going to go over today just the Razer Chargers V2 mod that I've had on my Chargers for about a year now. I created a Discord chat back in September of 2020. The Discord chat is going to outline everything that I've got in this video with you so far. But my purpose of this video is to show you the real hands-on construction of the, the joystick mod itself. A few of the components that we're going to need in this chat, as you can see right above you in the Discord chat that I've got right now, I'm going to scroll through that as this video continues. So we're going to need a small screwdriver for moving the screws from the Tartarus. We're going to need a Tartarus itself, of course, for this mod. You're going to need a KY023 joystick. You can find that on Amazon or robotshot.com. Uh, some female to female jumper cables and a Teensy LC. So the Teensy LC means a Teensy low cost. I prefer the ones with pins. I don't actually know how to solder. I think this could be something I'm going to work on in the future. The Teensy is just a microcontroller that you guys will have that you guys can plug your joystick into. The Teensy itself is a very small board, very simple, about twice the size of a physical joystick itself. Very small. So you'll see that I've got mine already attached down here. It's already hooked up, but this is the board that you will physically need. So that's the actual one I've got currently, in case anyone wants one made. Uh, in addition, watch how you buy your jumper cables. I unfortunately bought ones that were correct with a female, so plug inside, and a male with a pen. So you can see those as I've got them right here. So male and female. You're going to need cables that are both female to female. For this project. Shit, dropped it. Alright, so as I go through so far, our whole process is the construction, takedown, you see everything so far is put into place. What I'm going to do is go through this chat, go through my mod itself, and kind of help you out step by step if you guys ultimately want to make a joystick mod for yourself. So like I said, you're going to need a Dremel, you're going to need your toolkit, you're going to need a Razor Tartars itself. This is the picture I used before I actually made my mod, when the D-pad was still intact, as you can see right above here. You're going to need your joystick. This has the five pins. This is your X, your Y. When you push into the joystick, the button itself there, it's got that measurement, it's got your ground cable, and it's got your power. I'm going right to it. Uh, as we keep going through, I said these are your jumper cables you're going to need. Those are your female to female cables and your Teensy LC. Alright, so the next part here is the deconstruction of the Razor Tartarus mod. We're going to be taking apart every single piece from this so you can properly get to the spots that you need to get to to make this mod happen. So let's scroll just a little bit down. Alright. So, in this process, as you want to take down your Tartarus V2 mod, all that's going to happen is there's a small rubberized foot pad right here. This is the only one that you actually need to take off. I've done this just a few times, so mine comes off pretty simple now. I'm going to take my screwdriver. I'm going to unscrew this screw in here. After that, we get to everything that we need to get to. Get that screw out. That didn't actually want to come out. One sec. There we go. Alright. Put that screw to the side. Alright. In this process, you'll see I've got everything of mine currently already hooked up. But I'm going to take mine apart, for example, for you guys, so you can see what needs to be done, what does not need to be done. Alright, so, scrolling down through, I'm going to open all of this up so we can see. There's two pins here. There's one on each side of here, 
if you've got larger fingers, use something like your screwdriver, unfortunately. My fingers are small, I can get into that. Once you've got on both sides unhooked, simply, very gently, remove your ribbon cable. At this point, the tartars can sit to the side. We don't officially need that right now. I'm going to unplug the power cable too. This is our big component, our big piece that we're going to be working on throughout most of this mod. So this, as you can see, we've got our joystick full in there. We've got it hooked up for all of its jumper cables down to the Teensy LC in its correct locations. I'm going to continue to take this apart and we're going to reassemble this together. Put that screw to the side. Unhook that. Take our actual device apart and we've got our parts again. What you're going to need when you're doing this mod, you're going to have to take everything off because you are going to be uh, dremeling everything. There we go. This is your physical D-pad. These are the switches that typically tend to fail. And people will report that's the most common issue that they've got. When it comes to the physical D-pad, uh, these switches, yes, they're nice. They work great exactly the way they are. You can repurpose those to the WASD, like your keyboard, and use it that way. But people were finding the more heavier use, depending on what button they were using the most, it was failing, it was breaking, there was no more clicky sound, and then ultimately just stopped working. This mod also allows the top button on your mod right here to continuously work, which is your blue button right here. I just lost a little piece. Where did you just go? Right there, shit. All right, put that to the side. Where you are, I've already done it of course, but what you need to do, this piece here is about the size of um, a Canadian loonie or just a little bit larger than a quarter for both Americans and the States. As it's going around, you've got very little of an edge all the way through that you can see. That's there. You don't need anything bigger. You don't need anything smaller. It's just enough for the joystick to fit comfortably up through. And if you can see, we don't have a crazy amount of wiggle space. It's just so it fits snug in there. All right, so that's that picture right there. Make sure you keep this little black piece. It needs to fit on the stem inside at the circle. So this stem right here, you can take that off here put it back onto the stem right there put that to the side all right so at this point once it's all dremeled out you kind of see how it is you know how your target still fits in you do want to make sure you keep your very large stem inside this stem is what holds everything together that's the one that screws into the bottom clamps it all shut All right, I'm gonna keep going through our Discord chat. All right, on to our joystick itself. So each joystick comes in a different angle. The joystick I had sticks up and out of my Razor Tartarus. Some joysticks point towards the inside. So if you've got your joystick here, you've got it in. Mine, unfortunately, points up and out as it sits in there so when my tartars together it looks like this sticking out from the top before i have to wrap the wires back in some stick in this way so you can kind of tuck your cables in but you do want to make sure you watch it for the stem to make sure you've got some clearance room 
what I had to do is I took as much PCB off that was needed that we didn't have to use. So I simply looked on the bottom, I looked, okay, where are the connectors? Where don't I need anything? And I trimmed everything away. So as you can see right there, I trimmed the edges away, everything that's not needed, trying to make this as small as possible, as compact as possible for it to fit into the mod itself. Once that was finished, of course, yes, I put it into my device. I wanted to make sure it fits. So just like the picture above, I sat that in here to see how does this look. So from the picture above to here, this is your ultimate view. Same thing that's right there. That's more of a still image. It's easier for you guys to see. Once you know you've got your PCB correctly in place, all you have to do is simply start to reattach. All right. At this point, we've got it in place. We can easily do it. Let's start hooking our stuff back up and we'll continue to go from there. Gently put in the ribbon cable again. We don't have our stem in place. Find it's a little easier with the screwdriver. I just lost it in there. There we go. Drop down. There we go. All right, so once that's dropped down in place, we're simply going to put our D-pad back on top because the D-pad's going to be what holds all of this into place. Start to screw this back together. Make sure this is snug before you continue. Make sure if you have to move it in any way, you can do that. And it looks good. And we tighten that back up. All right, so at this point, we were back to exactly where we were when I took this apart. Our joystick's in place. Our joystick can move around. It's not wiggly. It's not going anywhere at this point. All right. Now, for me, I don't want the wires hanging out of the device. It looks a little ugly. I tucked mine inside. I simply wrapped mine down below, and I knew it needed to come out the back. So as it came out the back, I knew I needed to do something with that. So I took a bit of the Dremel. I took a bit of plastic from the top here, enough for just the wires to pass through before they got clamped back down. Now, my problem was these cables here. These cables stick up a fair bit, so I needed to take some space off of my razor tartar. So I simply took a bit of plastic away from here. Yours with your joystick, you may not even have to do this part. Yours may all fit comfortably inside the thumbstick housing. At that point, yours would be a lot neater, a lot tighter. If you want to solder, you can compress this even more. You don't have to worry about any of these things that I unfortunately ran into. As I soldered the top of what, not soldered, I uh, dremeled away the space that I needed at the top. I was then able to assemble everything back together. So at this point in it, we just have to start putting things back together. Gently, we're putting our ribbon cable back into place. This is a 12 pin in case you need to replace it. They are very gentle. 
Once it's in place, simply push those two prongs, the release in the first place, back in, locking your PCB back to the D-pad board. At this point, we're ready for assembly again. We get to put it back to place simply. I'll turn this so everyone can see it. Make sure your ribbon cable is inside. Make sure your wires are fitting nice and neat. I think we got ours in place. So as you can see, my wire stuck out a bit. That's exactly where I took the plastic away from my wire so then drop back down and fit comfortably inside this housing before they come out the end. When you're putting this back down, you've got plastic. Let me get a good angle on this for you. Here, there's a little lip in there. You want to make sure you get it over top of that lip right there. So this is the lip that when you get it correctly over, it'll kind of sit and lock into place. So if you don't see it right here, you'll know you got it. Once that's correctly in place and you've got it over that lip, let me just squish all this together. It's easier. When it's down, we have no lip. Our bottom here, again, you want to make sure that all fits together too. Once you've got it, you'll see no seams. It'll look just the way it was before. Same for up top. There's no lip that you see. Find a good angle. There we go. And then simply taking your screw again. Attaching it all together. Adding your rubberized pad back in. And you are physically done your mod. Your joystick's in place. Your wires are all come out to your Teensy board. And the next video is going to show you exactly how to program this board so everything works out nice and fine. Thank you guys.